everybody. My name's Kayla. I'm from Ennis, North Carolina. I'm 28 years old. I am a nurse back at home. This is my second missions trip. I'm just so excited to see Jesus work in these people's lives and win souls for Jesus. We're here at our first school, get ready to go in. Hello. Hi. 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 We're super excited about all the people that Jesus is going to save today. So if you want to ask Jesus to come into your heart, then say this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. I believe in you. So we're currently waiting to go to our second school today. At the first school we had 15 saved and it is time to go. This is Samuel. He's going to be my interpreter at the school today. Hi. How old are you, Samuel? Uh, 11 years old. We are currently waiting. So we are back at the hotel after visiting three schools today. We have over 1,100 children saved at three schools, which is awesome. It was a good team effort. And here's a little view during my rest time. Okay, so today was a really exciting day out on the missions field. We had over 1,100 children saved at the schools today, which was super exciting. I enjoyed doing the dramas and skits, and the children really enjoy those too. I think my favorite part about the schools is that the children are really interested and so loving on you, and we get to take the love of Jesus to them, and that to me in itself is worth the wait. The children are really hungry for that love and I'm just so excited that we can work as a team as a family really to bring those children to Jesus and we also got to go to a church which was really fun tonight they had an awesome praise and worship and all the children were dancing and we got the opportunity to dance with them and learn their dances which warms them up to to us and to hearing the Word of God. The message tonight was really good by Pastor Daphne about faith and speaking speaking it and believing it, that it requires both parts. I think one of my favorite things is that the anointing is so strong and follows us everywhere we go because this has been prayed for and the people's hearts here are open and ready to receive from God and I know that God has so much in store for Honduras on the rest of this trip that he is really going to touch these people's lives and that they're going to be a strong mouthpiece for their country and I just know that there's going to be many miracles and many salvations. I'm excited to see all that take place. Thank you for going along with me on my day as a missionary.